Hi, this is Darlene, Avery Lane Shop Girl. I think your art collection tells the world and all your friends and family so much about you and your personality. So I think it's important to collect and curate an interesting art collection. These are wonderful blown up stamps from around the world. Um, this one is from the Republica Cote of Ware, I can't even say it. This is from South Africa, from Gabon. Republic of Tunisian, I can't even say the names of these places, but they're absolutely beautiful and colorful, lots of personality. These will look beautiful lined up along the hallway or of course put in a four square like this. As many of you know, I grew up on a horse ranch in Montana, so horses will forever be an important part of my life and my memories. I also love to see horses in people's homes. We've got two really, really big, bold pieces of, of um, horse art photography, and they're wonderful to put in a room, with, maybe even a smaller room, so that they seem more dramatic because of the scale. This horse here is named Pasha. She's beautiful, and this one is Lara. I think they might be sisters. They're absolutely exquisite, very contemplative, very moody. Wouldn't we all love to have a Picasso in our home? I dream of finding one in a late great aunt's home and she leaves it to me thinking it's not worth anything but it's an original Picasso. This is not an original Picasso, but it's a good kind of replica. Really has that sophisticated look and charm. And then when they frame it in something really ornate, it looks like a museum place. Uh, this would be a great piece to put in, um, of course, in a bedroom, but I think it'd be really fun to have something like this in a powder room. Landscape art has really come a long way in the last 20 years. I think many of you know Ed Mel, and he did beautiful Arizona or Southwest um, Grand Canyon and mountainscapes, but in a contemporary way. And these two pieces, I think, are kind of giving ode to Ed Mel. Wonderful color palette, very vibrant, very interesting, and a really fresh, fresh, cool, and hip way to do a landscape. I think this horse might be the boyfriend or to uh, Laura and Pasha. He's absolutely wonderful, and there's something about the, the whiskers and the, the water on his face. He has got such great eyes and just so much power. This would be a wonderful piece in any home. We are so fortunate to work with some really interesting clients who have traveled all around the world. We have some wonderful shadow boxed um, basically clothing and tribal artwork. This is a little um, Rabari um, outfit. I think it's from India. It's got beautiful mother of pearl and silver and the threads are gorgeous. Here is a great piece and this is from, this is a tribal belt. I believe it's, um, I believe it's Tibetan, but it's got all these chains that hang off of it, lots of details, a great colorful, well-traveled kind of piece. And then we also have two other beaded pieces very dramatic, let me move this lamp so you can see this one, but they're both really dramatic, lots of history and a lot of story with both of these pieces. I always say that Avery Lane has a Paris apartment aesthetic, and by that I mean we take old world and we mix it with contemporary, and that's what makes it cool and hip and current. I love these two little murals of birds and little, uh, little birds and pheasants and the vine going up. These would be great on either side of a bed or certainly in a hallway. Lots of personality and then you can pair it with something really contemporary which gives you that juxtapose that is very current right now. We are so proud to have a wonderful collection of Tarkays in our showroom right now. These are both from the same home, beautifully framed with black mats, absolutely gorgeous. And one of the things that I thought was really interesting is that Tarke was born in 1935 on the Yugoslav-Hungarian border. In 1944, at the age of nine, Tarke and his family were sent to concentration camp by the Nazis. And they remained there until the Allied forces liberated the camp in 1945. So really interesting. He says that that experience was really one of the things that attributed to his interest in art was showing the beauty in the world and helping people see the beauty in the world. So a beautiful collection. These are absolutely collectible pieces. Here we have a smaller 
collection of tar case. They're all beautifully framed, kind of museum quality framed. One of the things that I love about Tarte is he always paints women and he has them in beautiful, colorful clothing and beautiful surroundings. They always seem to be having a great conversation or in deep contemplative thought. We also have another artist who kind of maybe um, stylized after Tarte and this is, um, is it Anna Jolie? Uh, let me see, no, that's not right. Uh, Amelie Jolie, Amelie Jolie. Very similar in terms of the women, very colorful, somewhat more whimsical than maybe Tarquay would be. But these are beautifully framed as well and really bring a lot of color and mood and expression to a room. Come see all these beautiful pieces of art here at Avery Lane in Scottsdale, Arizona.